Yeah, so we're uh, up at Siletz Falls, uh, located on the Siletz River, uh, River Mile 64.5. And you can see here we got a, we got a fish trap down here, a really uh, unique operation uh, that allows us to uh, execute a lot of our management plans for the Siletz River, uh, the, the main one primarily being uh, the managing the wild steelhead, wild summer steelhead run in the basin here. Uh, prior to the, the 1990s, uh, the, the fish trap was operated uh, in a way that we would pass, you know, all fish that, that came to the trap, all wild fish that would come uh, through the trap and would be placed up into the upper basin up here, which has, you know, incredible uh, spawning habitat and rearing habitat for uh, anadromous salmonids and uh, cutthroat trout. And uh, we started looking at, you know, in the 1990s, you started really noticing that the, the wild summer steelhead run, which is uh, something unique to the Siletz Basin, the Siletz is the only uh, coastal river in Oregon that has a true wild run of summer steelhead. And in the past, you know, uh, prior to the, the trap being installed, uh, I believe in the 60s, uh, the summer steelhead had a, a unique niche that they had carved out where um, they could pass the falls at really low flow in the summertime. And then they had the whole upper basin to themselves um, and had a competitive niche they carved out there for uh, spawning and rearing and didn't have to compete with, uh, you know, uh, winter steelhead in particular and, and coho and chinook and, and other species. So a decision was made in the late 1990s to um, try to promote the this wild summer steelhead run that was in uh, a decline over the past couple of decades. And a decision was made to remove um, and not pass any more uh, winter steelhead into the upper basin. And since that time, uh, we've seen the summer steelhead in a positive response. Uh, the wild summer steelhead uh, numbers have come up um, significantly s since then and, and have kind of plateaued into a, a nice sustainable population of wild summer steelhead that, uh, that use that basin once again. The winter steelhead are then left to their historic range uh, below the falls in the lower basin and they have uh, uh, plenty of good habitat there too. So uh, really a, a unique uh, management tool and something that has really worked well for the some wild summer steelhead in the Siletz River. So how do you guys run this trap? What's, the, what's sort of the mechanism for it? First of all, it's got a really cool entry Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you can see here we've got a little hand basket that we take across to the other side of the river. And then you can see the head gate right over there that's got the white sign on it. So we have a head gate there that opens up and allows water to flow into the trap. And then we have a series of chambers um, in there that, that we can uh, trap fish into. Uh, below it, there's a, a pretty long uh, fish ladder that extends around uh, the Siletz Falls here, which is a, a, a big uh, a series of pool drops through these boulders here that goes for, for quite a ways, for three or 400 yards. And so the, the fish ladder follows um, on the backside there. Um, down to the bottom into a pool. And so fish can ascend the fish ladder, um, enter our trap, it's a you know a large trap in there. And then there's a, a couple other series of chambers where we can pass fish above that are gonna be going into the upper basin. We can remove fish uh, that aren't gonna be passed. And as well as there's a few uh, holding pins in there too for uh, that we use for recycling uh, winter and summer steelhead that are hatchery uh, that we can truck down river and, and let the anglers uh, have another shot at. So. Yeah, it's a really big management tool for us, um, managing you know the hatchery and wild fish in the basin.